Welcome to Always Analog, where we celebrate the beauty of analog technology in the digital world. So we're going to have a pencil review today, and this is a uh, pencil that I found during school supply season I had never seen before, but uh, had a really kind of almost retro-ish and bold um, package and it got my attention and uh, America's Finest number two HB premium 12 sharpened pencils uh, and up at the top here American Arbor natural cedar and white fir so a combination of the two woods so here is the package so here yes you can see the the front now if we flip it over to the back you see 12 sharpened pencils again american arbor natural cedar and white fir made in the usa america's finest this American Arbor collection features pencils made from two different types of American wood, cedar and white fir. The pencil highlights the wood's natural scents and softness. These natural number two pencils are proudly made in the USA and feature premium responsibility sourced wood, high quality number two HB graphite cores, no smear latex free erasers please visit us at writtenwordpencils.com and so something it's academic the barcode it's got the uh, pencil makers association seal there made from sustainably sourced materials non-rainforest stamp um, so that's the that's it. So I thought, oh, well, I've got to, I got to try these. And um, so I'm going to, let's see, maybe open here. Let's get one out. They are sharpened. Get out a couple here. And um, they're natural. They're not painted. Let's see if I can, let's focus here. America's finest pencil, natural cedar. And then here's America's finest pencil, natural white fur. So some of these are fir and some of these are cedar and it depends which one you get, you, you pull out. I, I assume there's probably, I'm looking in the package, yeah, it looks like there's six of each, cedar and white fir. And um, you can see a subtle difference in the cedar is just a tad bit darker. Um, it's got a white imprint and uh, yeah, a round pencil, not not a hex, a round. And you've got a black and white uh, ferrule here that looks like it's crimped on and a white eraser at the top. So here we go. Um, yep, I can get a little bit of a smell off of these pencils. Um, so they're a nice looking, nice looking pencil, both of them. Uh, assuming the core is the same in both, we'll, uh, we'll get some paper and see how they write. Okay, um, I'm gonna, I think, use the white fur here pencil. Um, round barrel, comfortable, uh, and uh, seems to have a fairly sharp point on it so it says
America's finest pencil. Okay, let me try the cedar. Well, going by the core, I'm wondering if these were made in Shelbyville, Tennessee. I don't know. It doesn't say where in America they were made, um, but you've got a pretty nice, smooth, it's definitely a 2HB pencil. I'll say that if you <clears throat> like a natural, unfinished pencil, if that appeals to you, these really are nice. They are very, very nice. And the exterior is very smooth, very, very smooth. Um, so they, they did put care into uh, milling these pencils and it's really always nice to see the grain of the wood. Uh, you can hear on the cedar one, it tends to, looks a little bit more pronounced. You can sort of see the glue line where the two cedar slats were glued together. Uh, it's faint, but it's, it's there. But it's a very handsome pencil. And I like the uh, hardness and or softness of the core. It's just, a, it is a number two HB. Has that feel, but does put out a, a fairly uh, dark, line. Um, yeah, here are the, I've been switching back and forth. The points are starting to wear down a little bit. Um, so it does come with an eraser. And I believe the package said it was latex free, smudge free. So let's see about that. Okay. Well, um, speaking of, okay, let's, the eraser, the attached eraser, here you can see, you can see how it did. I forgot to run a smudge line. There is that. Um, so, Again, I like the white, the white eraser works beautifully um, uh, with the, the white imprint on the barrel and the white stripes going around the black ferrule. And so having the white eraser, I think color wise uh, is just a beautiful balance here, but it's not that great of an eraser. Let's try erasing these with a Mars plastic. Okay, I think you can see the difference. Um, you can see the shadowing here and you can see how much better, how much more of the graphite um, the plastic eraser took off. Try our pink pearl. 
same here. You know, it's like you got to have a block eraser, folks, if you really want to do a good erasing job. I'm, I'm still waiting to meet the pencil that has a really good quality, that was an art gum eraser attached to it. If any of you know of such a, a pencil, let me know. Maybe the black wing, I don't know. I've got to still, I haven't done a review of those yet. So, but um, nice. Try the Hartmouth rubber here. Yeah, these are all doing a nice job. Yeah. So it is a very erasable pencil, providing you have the right eraser. Very good in erasing. Uh, could be a, the B plus is the contingency for the attached eraser. Um, Let's let's sharpen this one up a little bit. Sharpens very nicely. Manual eraser here. And we can do a little bit more writing. Okay. Uh, point retention uh, is okay. I the core does seem to wear down uh, after three, four, five lines here. Um, but it does write very nicely.
Yes. Very nice. A nice writing pencil. Um, and both are nice looking. Again, if there's one downside to this pencil, it is the uh, less than mediocre even eraser that's attached. Looks good, but you know, Mama told me a long time ago, looks aren't everything. Um, it, it does not uh, erase that, that well. But those of us who keep block erasers um, handy, it's of little consequence because the core does erase nicely from the page with a, a quality eraser. And uh, it is a smooth pencil, comfortable to hold. And if you like a round barrel, which are becoming increasingly um, less prevalent in the market, it seems, uh, if you do prefer the feel of a round barrel, then I think these are pencils that you would really like to have. Um, they were not that expensive either. I uh, can't remember the price, um, I want to say mm, it was under $3 for the dozen pencils. So anyways, there they are, America's Finest Pencil. Some people might give some debate about that, but they are a very, very good pencil and very comfortable and very nice writing pencil. So thank you for spending some time with me for this review. And we'll see you again real soon here on Always Analog.